Hey, it's T-Drag here with another mod spotlight. Now, this is called Mine and Blade, a mod that Tobuscus uses and everybody wants because Tobuscus uses it because Tobuscus is awesome. Now, we gotta kind of just get rid of this stuff here. I'm on creative. And uh, I got everything here. I'm gonna explain it all. I'm gonna need two parts if you've watched my previous mod. Now, this adds more weapons and detailed armor and shields and a bunch of stuff if you watch toby's let's play then you've seen it so you know what it is but i gotta let others know too so let's get to the stuff here war axe here's the recipes here now you can see it yourself there's no reason for me to repeat it so just to make this go by faster wooden war axe has two hearts of damage, 60 durability, and 10% critical chance. Now, the reason it has critical chances for stuff is because each new weapon has its own special ability. The War Axe has a 150% chance to damage mobs with a critical, and it's a special critical. Red sparks will fly around the mob, indicating when it does the critical. Now, the Wooden War Axe has a 10% chance of doing the 150% damage to mobs. The Stone War Axe does 2.5 hearts of damage, 132 durability, and 20% critical. Iron War Axe, 3 hearts, 251 durability, and 25% critical. Diamond War Axe, 3.5 hearts of damage, 1,562 durability, and 30% critical. Gold, 2 hearts, 33 durability, and 50% critical. And just to show you the diamond, too, there's the diamond. Um, then the next thing is the mace and club. The mace and club special ability recipes here, a stick for, uh, of the resource. Um, wood through diamond. The mace's special ability is it has a chance to cause a three second stun to the enemy mob. Blue sparks will indicate this. Um, a wooden club has the same damage and durability. All damage and durability is the same as the war axes. And I will be posting a link to the website that is showing all of this in the description. I forgot to say that in my previous videos that I will be um, putting, like, I'll be explaining how to download if I don't have the link to the download. And even if I do have the link, I'll show you if it's not obvious how to get there. Um, since the damage and durability is the same, but the critical is different. On the wooden club, it has a 5% critical chance to do the stun. Stone, 10%, Iron Mace, 15 Diamond Mace, 20 and Gold Mace, 25 The Golden have increased criticals, but their damage is a lot worse, and so is their durability. And then there's the Diamond. The next is Spears. The Spears special ability here is their range. And it gives up damage for range. And tr it's like a two-block extra range from a sword. A sword, I think, gives you about two blocks of range. A spear gives you four blocks of range. So, it may not look like it's a longer weapon, but it, it gives you the range. The wooden staff is just three sticks diagonally across. And then you use the wooden staff to make the spear, iron, gold, and diamond just by placing one there and then having the resource above it like so. Um, the damage and durability, though, is changed. For a wooden staff, it is one damage, 120 durability. The durability has been raised um, compared to the other ones by a lot. Stone Spear, 1.5 damage, 264 durability. Iron Spear, 2 damage, 502 durability. Diamond Spear, 2.5 hearts of damage, 3,124 durability. Pretty much double. And Gold Spear... One heart of damage and 66 durability. So the gold spear would be completely useless. If you want to do like criticals and stuff. And I guess the golden mace and gold war axe would be sort of special. I guess somehow in your own opinion. Next. Oh here's the diamond spear. And also it's a lot easier to make spears too. So you get extra range and a lot more durability. It would be a good thing to make pretty fast. And if you're on limited resources. Shields. Shields are here are made of wood. Leather, iron, gold, and diamond. Now the metallic shields have different recipes than the little barbaric shields here. Wooden and hide. Um, I believe hide is better than wood. I would assume it is considering you can get it from cows. Um, I haven't really tested it myself and I don't have the durability of them. Sorry for that. 
Um, here are the recipes for wood and hide, and then here are them for the metallic shields. And the diamond. Now there's a new thing that's been added, and it's called a shield bash. You ever played Skyrim? You know what that is. You would right click to um, block with the shield, because you cannot block with these weapons, unlike the sword. And then you would left click while holding right click to block, and it would bash instead of swinging your weapon. Another thing is called chain armor that they've added. You may have seen chain mail in creative, but now you can make it with one iron ingot, makes two chains, and then it's just the normal armor recipe. Um like this, like so. Another new thing are banners. Which I would say this would be a really good thing for clans. Little banners, they have all the dyes. Here's the recipe here over here. One stick and then the two wool of your choice, which have to be the same because well, that makes the banner, so like, say, just, yeah, pick two magenta over here, you would get whichever one of these is the magenta, probably like this one, or, yeah, I would say it'd be that one. This would be really good for clans, and also you can dye shields. I have black, an ink sack with all of these would get you a black version of all of them, just to match the flag. And also, here's another recipe, say, if I was to just put some wool right here and I was in a crafting table it would take this this and this and make it and to, with all of these two if I put white wool it would make these each wool has its own armor set matching the banner and the shield yet again another amazing thing for clans all of these are enchantable unfortunately the dyes only work on diamond I mean they only work on iron armor Unlike the diamond shield, which still works with dyes, the armors do not. So, unfortunately, only the iron armor can be used with the wool. And another thing is called a set bonus. Say you have, uh, like, this entire armor set, you're wearing all lime, and then you have a lime shield too, you would get a match, a little set bonus. Let me figure that out here. Let's see. Here it is. A full set of knight's armor will give you a match set bonus, which extra shield of defense, making it protect you as much as diamond, even if it's only an iron shield, of course, because it would have to match. And actually, I don't think it has to be an iron. But if you did have an iron shield, it would protect you as much as diamond shield, so that'd be pretty helpful. And shield bash will only cost half the amount of stamina. So normally shield bashes take half of your stamina away. You have a stamina bar. It's not your food. And it would take half, so technically it would only go one-fourth. Now there's this thing called a quiver, which I do not have. I might have screwed up the mod somehow, even though all this stuff works. Or it just hasn't been put in, and it's something that he's thinking about putting in that will be soon. I'm not sure if someone has experience on this, or you get it to work. Um, if you mind messaging me or something, that would be nice, um, because that sounds really cool. It adds four extra slots for arrows that do not take up space in your inventory. Another cool thing. And then, also, all the new weapons, armor, shields, all that stuff can be enchanted. Um, I believe there's only specific things that it can be enchanted with, though. Because I know, like, Minecraft has its own enchantments. I don't think any were made up. But just only certain ones can go with them. So. I only have so much time here. Last time I screwed up because I didn't have sound. So I had to start all over. That's why I have enchanted weapons and stuff now. And then here's all the shields. All the armor. So say you had, like, all this. You would have a set bonus. And this would act as a diamond shield, I believe. At least that's what it says. Um, here are, I believe, all the new weapons. Um, all the new shields, and then you saw back there all the iron. I mean, yeah, all the new armor. And then, uh, I'm gonna have to end it in a minute. Because last time when I stopped at the enchantment, I was like a minute or two off, and I couldn't keep it. Um, no. I was able to enchant this armor, and if you click on this, it brings you to your new thing. Where you, hey, you can set up classes. Like, that's a class, that's a class, that's a class. Uh, you can dual wield axes and maces. Uh, the spear cannot be dual wield, so I have it with a shield. And then the bow is all by itself. So then you click that again. 
R, you press R button, or at least I have it, so that way you can change the controls. You scroll through your classes, bow, then you got your axes, you both swing them, and then uh, the spear, right click, hold up the shield, left click spear, and as you can see the stamina bar is going down. Um, I might have a zombie here to shield bash to show you before I end it. No, uh, what? My bookshelves are gone. Huh, I'm gonna have to set those up before I start up the next part. Um, I'll just show you, you can enchant though. Just really low level enchantments. Um, now, please click on my ads to help me out. Um, like, subscribe, I'll be posting a lot more mod spotlights after part two. Ones that I believe would be very interesting and to your liking. Um, like, comment. Yeah. So I'm gonna end it. Thanks for watching.